Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, the Dreadhead Ninja Bar, Rodimus Black, and I'm back with you again today for another Transformers review. And today we're going to be talking about Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Omega Supreme, 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 Supreme. Yeah. And I've been waiting for this guy for a really, really long time. And in all honesty, for a quick minute, I forgot that he was even coming out because I was so amped up over uh, the War for Cybertron um, Unicron that's. Uh, Hopefully, maybe, possibly, might be coming out in the future. I don't know. Um, only time would tell. We've been stuck in about the 5600 range of backers for like the last 10 plus days. So, you know, ever since they did the extension. So, we'll see what happens with that later on down the road. But anyways, we're not here today to talk about Unicron. We are here today to talk about Omega Supreme. And as per usual, we're going to take a quick look at the box that he came in which is a pretty big box as would be expected with a Titan class figure. So first and foremost, I absolutely love the artwork that's on the front of this box. Um, it just has Omega Supreme battling some Decepticons um, on Cybertron. You can see some building scapes, some fire action, some uh, Seekers over here in the corner. Uh, you got jet fire up here. You got blast effects all over the place. I mean, they really have gone all out this time doing their artwork and honestly man i would even like to have some posters come out um that would be really nice if they just included posters um in every box in every box of the figure that way you have that to look at um up here on the top you know we have the autobot insignia uh on the side transformers war for cybertron and then we got like a nice um image of optimus and the crew you know what I'm saying? Um, getting ready for battle. You know, they're all posed up like they just ready to do the damn thing. And on the back of the box, um, as with every single figure um, that you normally buy, we got some product shots. Um, over here, we have one of Omega Supreme. And um, this is apparently a picture of the prototype and not what we are actually getting. Because as we can see on the box, this Omega Supreme has the blue eyes. Not only that, he has hips that actually makes sense to the bot unlike what we are actually getting where the hips actually are a little bit too small looking for my taste but they do work um, down there the tank mode got a picture of his little mini con um, countdown and up here they show you how you can put countdown in the cockpit and everything else all right so that's enough of looking at the box let's go ahead and take a look at Omega Supreme himself and as you guys can already see, I got him lined up here next to um, the Titan Class Metroplex. Just so we can get a good look at, you know, the size of the figures. Um, because of how big they are, I am completely handheld right now. But, um, yeah. You know, it's kind of hard to capture figures of this mass, you know, um, while using my tripod. But here we can see Metroplex is quite a bit taller than um, Omega as he should be and this is one of the reasons why i actually went with this omega supreme versus fans toys uh dx9 or the weijang version but um i did actually like the weijang one um fans toys not so much and dx9 just looked you know i might people might hate on me for this one but that just looked absolutely terrible in my opinion um over here we have them next to uh what is it uh jen biles um, oversized KO of Gravity Builder and this Gravity Builder right here does have the add-on kit on it so if anybody out there does have the add-on kit or are wondering how he's going to stack up next to him um, oh, lost countdown um, he's still larger Omega is still about a head and a half taller than Devastator so this way you can see like I said in the event that you do want that add-on kit or this figure you can see that Omega is still much larger than he is. All right. So that there we go for the size comparisons. I wish I did have some other figures out. But if you've watched any of my other videos, I am packed. My collection's packed up. Uh, my move is next month on the 15th. And I will not be able to see the rest of my toys until after that date. So, yeah, that's all we got for right now. So let me go ahead and get these guys out of the way. And we'll go ahead and break down Omega. And we'll talk about that by himself. Be right back. All right, guys. And here we are with uh, Siege Omega Supreme, um, all by his lonesome. And um, just for my first thoughts on him, because I haven't actually had the opportunity to transform him yet. First thoughts is, 
I like them. I do. Like, um, this definitely satisfies the need for an updated Omega Supreme. Um, I, it's like I don't regret having waited for him. Um, there are some things about him off the rip that I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, and I'll just go ahead and tell you about that real quick right now. Starting off, those feet, man, why are they so tiny? Like, I saw it in the pictures, but I thought maybe it wouldn't be so bad once I got it in hand. But, man, they really gave him some tiny little feet. They Those could have been extended out a little bit. Um, that's one. And, I mean, these are really just nitpicks, to be honest with you. Um, second thing I'm not a fan of is the fact that uh, his eyes. I mean, I know they did light piping in them, and I'm not sure how well we're going to be able to see that through the camera. But, uh, you know, I was expecting the eyes to be blue. And they are not blue. They're just light piped in yellow, which pretty much just blends in and you can it's barely even noticeable. So, um, yeah, not the biggest fan of those two things right there. But aside from that, um, it's a really, really dope ass figure. Um, oh, another thing, I wish this uh, face shield opened up, but um, apparently it does not. So, yeah, that's another thing that uh, the other uh, third party Omega Supremes have over this guy. But in his defense, he is only 159 bucks, and on top of that, Hasbro was not trying to make a masterpiece Omega Supreme. They're just making a Siege Omega Supreme. So it's a huge difference between buying a masterpiece figure and just buying a standard Hasbro uh, figure. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, but that's 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 about it. Um, and is it just me, or does it seem as though like every time Hasbro does one of these figures, they just get a little bit cheaper? and the way they do things because you know starting off with metroplex you know you had light up eyes you had voice activation and then we followed up with fortress maximus who also had a few he has some gimmicks some light up eyes you know he has some phrases and everything like that then we get to Trypticon, we have no lights no sounds omega no lights no sounds and now uh, omega um unicron again no lights no sounds but they want like three times the amount of money for Unicron as they would for your standard siege figure. So yeah, that's that's Hasbro. That's that's business for you. But um yeah, so real quick, let's take a look at some articulation on him. Um I'm actually surprised to find that he has uh some up some um more head articulation than just left and right. He can actually look up, look down a little bit, and then you also get a full 360. Look at that little tiny little gun back there. That's cute. Um on the head, we have like some red paints, uh, some gunmetal paint down to here. Uh, these are all just yellow plastic. Uh, that's the uh, pla that's just plastic color. Um, over here, you know, I'm a sucker for translucent plastic, so it was nice to see that um, his claw does have translucent plastic on it. Also, with some um, some I guess battle damage, um, they like you know add a little bit of black paint there. You got black paint down in here. Uh, more translucence on the chest piece. As you can see, I have some of the um, little blasting effects um, pegged up here to the little guns, like he's uh, firing from his from his chest. And if we open that up, as everybody already knows, I'm sure we have a lot of like armaments inside of the chest, so he can fire some missiles from this side or from that side. And um, that's cool. I mean, it just adds to the overall play value of the figure. So um, I dig it. Uh, right here, we have the Autobot symbol. Um, all this right here seems to be red paint. And um, once I get my lab set up at my new place, I'm debating whether or not I'm going to paint this red down here to match the G1 and maybe paint up here um, along this crest right here, along this ridge. Maybe paint that red too. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, over here we have some steel paint, um, steel paint at the tip of the, um, of the uh, rocket, go down to the legs, uh, we have more steel paint, um, some more, like you have like a couple different shades of that grayish color that they use for them working throughout here. Now the hips, I know they had some issues with it which is what caused the delay, but um, at first they bothered me but the more I look at them the less it bothers me. But um, they are a little skinny right in here. I wish they would have like bulked it up just a, another like not even half an inch, not even quarter inch would have made a huge difference in just making this the same size as the rest of the leg. But whatever. Um, we come down here. We have the yellow plastic with a little bit more of that dry brushing battle damage. Um, also another place where you can put some blasting effects if you so desire to. 
Uh, we have some steel paint on the inside. Oop, I completely lost my camera. Okay, got steel paint uh, rotating a little bit. Got more steel, like some more of that paint down here, some more battle damage, more places to put blasting effects. Uh, back here on the backpack, we have uh, the red paint on top of the gray. We have yellow down here for the ramps. Uh, a little bit of red paint down here where they're at the knee joints. And then we get some more red back here. And I actually like the way they did this. It's a nice homage to the G1. Um, like, you know, you had those clips that, every, that are so hard to find that everybody's missing on their G1 Omega Supremes. But, um, yeah, like I said, overall, I really do like the figure so far. And um, I think it's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, another thing that it has over the other figures that I've noticed, um, it seems to have a, a few more teeth on the ratchet joints in the legs. So it's in between that and the fact that um, we have, let's move this down. Between that and the fact that unlike um, the Titan class, Metroplex and Fortress Maximus, um, they don't have you know ankle rockers at all and this figure does have ankle rockers so it's a lot easier to get them into some more dynamic poses um, and like I said these the teeth on this are actually a little bit better ratcheted so you actually get a lot more movement out of that than just your standard like two three clicks and they're doing the splits all right now obviously for transformation purposes you will be able to do the full splits uh, sideways it doesn't look like you're going to get it forward. Forward, we're only getting to right there. We get all the way back, though. So, pretty much the full splits. I say we give it to them. Obviously, like I said, due to transformation, we're going to get the splits all the way out to the side. So, um, as some would say, the full Van Damme. <clears throat> I think all these ratchets are freaking my dogs out. So yeah, you're going to be able to get a much better pose out of that. Shoulders, they're going to go all the way out to the side, all the way down. Um, you have a swivel right here at the right below the bicep. So you can twist that a little bit tight, but that's not, it's not a problem. It moves left and right. Um, right here at the claw arm, it does rotate like so, quite easily. Nice, smooth ratchet, very well tolerance. Um, you have some nice ratchet joints right at the base of the claw. So you have heavy ratchets. And then right here is kind of just friction, but it's very beautifully tolerant. very nicely done. And um, I even like how they have like, uh, it goes from like a complete translucent orange down to like this kind of painted orange down at the tips of the fingers. And I think they did a beautiful job on that. Uh, same thing on the other side of the bot. I get shoulder articulation all the way up and back down. Got your swivel and obviously nothing else right there on that part of it. So let's go ahead and start breaking them down and getting, getting him transformed. All right, so for the first part of the transformation, uh, what you want to do is we're going to open up the two front panels of the chest piece, exposing the tank. Also, you want to open up the bottom section here, and we're going to flip that down. That's going to expose the tank in the middle of the body. We could just slide this out, and that's going to expose the Omega tank. All right, so we got all that popped out. Transformation on this is pretty basic, pretty simple. Um, all you're going to do... Well, let's see. First, we can just separate the side cannons on both sides, like so. Open up the front um, canopy, like so. That's going to expose the, uh, the tank head in the front. So we can just spin that around and spin that. And then we can collapse it all together. So you see there's like these little uh, pins right here, the little pegs with corresponding holes on the other side. Just line those up. And ta-da, just like that, I think. It's a little hard to get them to plug into place. 
All right, we'll come back to that. So now that we got that, now that we got that done, flip the front of the tank back. Take this bottom portion, flip that backwards, lock it into place, and we're pretty much done. That's pretty much all she wrote on that. Oh yeah, I gotta push the head down. Okay, there we go. Now, just taking a quick look at the tank. Um, unfortunately, you do. Um, unfortunately, you don't get any rotation here, but you do get up and down. But it does definitely scream Omega Supreme. I mean, obviously, they did a pretty good job on that. And um, for the money, it's cool. Uh, the side guns do go up and down. So if you need additional firepower, you can do that. Also, you could put blasting effects inside of all the guns like so and blah, boom 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 he is rolling and blasting Decepticons left and right that's pretty cool I do like the blasting effect gimmick um, I think Jetfires look better um, Jetfires probably the only other I think is the only other siege figure I have right now um, but I do like Jetfires a little bit better but that's pretty cool alright so we got that out the way Next thing we're going to do, come to the back of the bot, and down here, the back on the backpack, this does clip in at the bottom in order to keep that sturdy stable. So you just unclip that, then we can slide both track pieces off. They just they're on sliders right here, easy. And you just unfold these. I do believe they are pegged together. Unfold them, and you just. Um, Flip up the support brackets from the bottom on both of them. And likewise on the other side. Okay, so we got all that done. Next thing we're going to work on is uh, the rocket. So we take that apart. Like so. Flip both arms up. Like that slide that in same thing on the other side lift that up rotate so that this so that the, this the shoulder piece well the elbow piece is facing that way and slide in and then on the front we slide that piece out next flip it around just rotate these out like so Hopefully this is all getting in the camera. Go in the frame. Just rotate these. Flip that over. And then I'm gonna collapse this little piece right here. It's like, you know, just collapse all of that so that it sits flush. Then I wrap this all around and tab it all together. So you see you got these tabs down here. Just try to get that lined up and tab together. Same thing on the top. Rotate and tab. Doesn't want to stay done, but oh well. Okay, got that. And first look at the rocket in hand. I mean, I've seen pictures of this and um, I've even seen like um, Obsessed. Um, he's a guy out of Canada. Who uh, Polk got was one of the first people to get this, and um, you know it's it's huge. This is ridiculous. I mean, somebody actually, I think somebody had rocket envy, and they wanted to make sure they got the biggest rocket. Um, but right here on the front, you do have like a little cockpit, uh, so like you know the bots can everybody can look outside of it, opens up like so, and you can you know you can see there's like uh, control panels. Um, and other things right on the inside of that. That's pretty cool. It's nice attention to detail. Let's go ahead and pop that back in place. Okay. So we got the rocket. That wasn't too bad. So the rocket is actually taller than Omega Supreme himself. That's weird. Okay, cool. All right. So let's go ahead and get the main body transformed. So we're just going to uh, 
do a complete 360 on the bot on the top your legs out to the side those are some really strong ratchets I mean, those legs aren't going anywhere once you get that done but yeah so anyways uh flip the ramps out that side and on that side and you're just going to flip that in and flip that side in and you're pretty much done already so set that down So we got so far. Then we're just going to take these tracks and hook them up right here, like so. Okay. Hook that all up and pretty stable. To the back side. Oh yeah, forgot. There is like a little stabilizer down here on the bottom that you can uh, flip out, and that's going to help provide additional support. Okay. That one back in. These are a little bit of a pain. But, you know, a little bit of wiggling, a little wobbling, and um, we're good. But yeah, that's Omega in his, ba in his uh, base mode. So now we can just take the tank, set that there, and to be completely honest with you, that doesn't fit. Let's get this down here. Gotta invest some money in a better tripod. All right. So we got Omega all transformed. And I only looked over the directions one time and um, it was pretty easy to figure out the rest. So yeah, it does come with a pretty clear cut directions, but um, just like the other Titans, it's not it's not really difficult to transform. But you see that? Look at that. Look at those hips versus what we got. That looks so much better than what showed up at my house today. Those are the hips I wish we could have came out came out with. Um, it'd be really nice if like a third party company out there, hint, 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 would come out with like maybe a hip replacement. Um, that would really make me very, very happy. So, anywho, yeah, Omega doesn't really fit on the track as he was designed to. The track feels more to me like it's meant for your mini cons. So here we have Countdown. May as well just go ahead and do a quick transformation on him. So you just, I guess you just flip these wheels up. Flip the little antenna up. Flip these in. And that's that. That's the end of it. So. They're actually doing a really good job on these little mini cons. I like the way these look. Um, I saw like a 10 pack of them at the store at Target the other day. And um, now that I'm looking at this and I got one in my hand, um, I'm actually debating going back and getting that 10 pack if they still have it. Because I actually like these. These are these are fun. But yeah, that looks like perfect for these guys to roll around on. Like if you have a bunch of minifigures, you can like have some fun playing like this. A little bit of Mario Kart, throwing red turtle shells at each other. That's, you know, that's perfect for them. It's like a little thin two-lane road. But when you try to add Omega on here, while these track pieces on the bottom that roll, they do fit. That just, that looks, that's too big. And he's going to fall off, off the track. So, I kind of like Omega just off to the side. Well, it's, God damn it. <laughs> I like the tank off to the side. All right, now back to the obscenely large rocket. That's just going to sit right here in the middle. And honestly, to me, that doesn't look right. That doesn't 
does not look right because it's, it's too big. You know, that I can't see that blasting off from right here. It's not going to be able to without hitting everything. So, I mean, I know it's a toy and it's not really any fire or anything like that. And I know I'm nitpicking the hell out of this thing a little bit. But, um, that's just, I don't know. I don't, I don't like that. It should have been, either this should have been smaller or the track should have came out further. One or the other. One of them should have happened. But that's, uh, that's, you know. I mean, on, in robot mode, um, I would say... This Omega Supreme is just as good as any other one that's come out, in my opinion. Just my opinion. Um, this is just as good as Fans Toys DX9 or Weijang because, you know, it's robot mode. But in this mode, hey, my dog's about to go crazy. My wife just came home, so I'm going to wrap this up real quick. But in this mode, um, the playability just really isn't there to me. Okay, so I'm back. My wife's home. Hi, babe. <laughs> hey, there's my dogs going crazy because they happy mommy's home. All right, so uh, just to wrap this video up real quick, guys, um, and my final thoughts, um, I like it. I do. I, it's it's worth the 150 bucks. Um, if you want to wait on it, you know, I, I I do. I'm doing reviews now, so I'm trying to get figures in as quickly as possible. That way, I can review them. And um, I hope you guys like, well, you know, the reviews that I do. Um, but if you want to wait on it, I, I, I wouldn't blame you because we already know how these things go. Eventually, you're going to find this thing at Ollie's for probably 50 bucks. Um, you're probably going to find find it at um, Costco or whatever for probably half the price if you just wait a few months on it. Um, but if you can't wait, I say it is worth 150 bucks. So I, I would do that. I would do it but yeah that's all i got for you guys um if you made it this far through the video without clicking out of it uh again i hope you liked it and don't forget to like share and subscribe give your boy a little bump um that's kind of what us youtubers thrive off of is subscri subscriptions and likes so um you know that's our bread and butter right there you know even though i don't get paid to do this but anywho um again hope y'all liked it and on that note as always from your boy the dreadhead ninja bot peace y'all